So in this video, you're going to be applying what you've learned about integers with the order of operations. So I want you to just quickly re refresh your memory on what does BEDMIS stand for. So quickly fill in these blanks, maybe pause the video, fill it in, see if you remember, and then restart the video and see if you were right. So again, this is what BEDMIS stands for. Um, remember that division multiplication, the D, comes before M just for the saying, but you do it in order from left to right. So if multiplication happens to come first, you multiply first. If division happens to come first, you divide first. Likewise with addition and subtraction, whichever one comes first in order from left to right is what you do. Um, one other thing that's a little bit challenging sometimes with integers is sometimes brackets are used to show that something is negative. For example, I might write 2 plus negative 3. That, the negative 3 in brackets, is not what I mean by the B in bedmas. That's just a bracket showing that the 3 happens to be negative. It's often used in math. You could also see this as well. These two things are the same thing. So the bracket is just often used to show that something happens to be negative. So you have to be careful when you're using the order of operations. What you're looking for is a bracket where there's things inside to do, where there's maybe some subtraction to do inside of it, or there's some addition to do inside of it. So let's look at some examples. So for example, um, here is this the first one here. So we do our multiplication first. So we do 3 minus 7 times 2, which is 14. And 3 minus 14 is negative 11. Okay, so let's look at this next one. So we have negative 4 plus 40. So we do multiplication minus 50. Negative 4 plus 40 is 36. 36 minus 50 is negative 14. Um, so this is an example of something where there is something inside the bracket to do. So let's have a look at this one. So negative 3 plus 4 times, we're going to do 5 squared first. Then we're going to do 25 minus 32, and we get negative 7. Now, when we get to here, um, you've got a couple of options with how you want to be writing it. So this is negative 3 plus negative 28, or, okay, you can write it as negative 3 minus 28. These are identical. Uh, this is another thing that can get confusing when integers are introduced as whether something is a negative sign or whether something is a subtraction sign. So, what I've done is I've just created a few other examples to kind of help you out with that a little bit. And it takes a little bit of getting used to. And please ask questions as you're doing things if you're a little unclear. So for this one, for example, again, here's an example of the use of a bracket where there's nothing inside it to do. This bracket is just telling you that the 4 happens to be negative. So what we do with this one is we can say 3 minus the answer of negative 4 divided by 2. Well, negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. So what you're going to find some people will do is they'll actually write this as 3 plus 2. Okay, and those mean the exact same thing, and we get our answer. Okay, This next one, again, where people get confused is they start to think, is this saying that the 8 is negative, or are we subtracting the answer of 8 divided by negative 2? And there's actually, it's, it's sort of the same thing, and this is what makes it a little bit confusing. So you can do 5 minus the answer of 8 divided by negative 2, which is negative 4. Or you can think to yourself, what's negative 8 divided by negative 2? And you can get 5 plus 4. These are the same thing. Remember, subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. So that's one thing that can cause a little bit of confusion, confusion with integers and when you're doing order of operations with integers. So I encourage you to ask questions when you're unsure 
and to keep trying it, it will eventually make sense and you will get better at it. But it can be confusing when there's multiple signs and sometimes it's hard to know whether it's, uh, excuse me, whether it's a subtraction or a, or a negative. But again, 5 minus negative 3 is the same as 5 plus 3. And so it, it in some ways, or if I write 5 minus 7, remember that's the same as saying 5 plus negative 7. So in this case, I can say 5 take away positive 7, or I can think of this as 5 plus negative 7. So I can either think of it as a subtraction or as a negative. And I actually, they're actually the same thing. And that's what makes integers a little bit more confusing than just normal order of operations. So I, I encourage you to ask questions and keep trying it. And eventually it will make sense.